Hi guys. Um, well, I'm going to be doing my signature blend, which is Sleepner. Um, you probably know me as Kate Mergener. Uh, I just wanted to first go over it. Um, I guess I could mull over it a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think I should. Um, my signature blend, Sleepner, is based off of my love of mythical creatures, particularly the focus on Norse mythology here. Um, in the dry bag form, which I have three ounce right here, if you open it, it smells in its dry form a lot like mulled cider. Yep. Yeah, it smells a lot like spicy mulled cider, all due to the spiced apple chai, which brings out that apple, its orange peel, cinnamon bark, ginger root, and cardamom, to name a few. And then after steeping it, which I have a nice little cup right here, I steeped it for the five minutes. Um, comes out with a little bit more of that pu'er hazelberry, which is, you know, a very earthy tea blend with a bit of the strawberry in there. But yeah, it has also a bit of sweet hay to it, so it adds a little bit of a dry flavoring to it. But, yeah, really works well for um, a Sleepner because Sleepner is a six-legged horse, and it makes for a good equine-inspired brew. So, I added that in there as a heavy buffer. Also, Puyer is a very strong, sturdy tea. You can steep it a couple more times than just once. And I also added just a smidgen of chestnut. It adds a little bit of roasted warmth to it, and it just further enhances it. Not to be confused with uh, horse chestnuts, which I guess in uh, superstitious beliefs is supposed to cure congestion in horses. But in truth, it's a, actually a poisonous type of nut. Don't feed it to horses. <laughs> um, yeah, the cider-like aspect of it really makes it perfect for autumn or winter, but it's rather chilly sometimes in the morning, so I, I would have it just to warm myself up. Yeah, you know, all those spices, they're, they're very meaty. They also have that very cider-like nature to them, which really works well for Norse mythology. And I think in, you could say in certain Norse myth talk, uh, if a frost giant from Jotunheim was bringing you some rather icy tidings, then having a goodly heartwarming steed hot-footed away would be quite good. And it's actually a really good blend to have with like honey, if you wanted to put a droplet in there. Or I sometimes put in my blend agave, which is similar to honey. It's a little stronger syrupy flavor. You also find it in tequila, <laughs> oddly enough. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my tea in my fox mug and just leaving you off on that note about my review on it. It's quite good. I like it. And I definitely think if you're more for a seasonal, it will work for you in autumn or winter again. Definitely warms me up. See you guys.